So obviously the dahlias in full sun have done much better. And also actually, I'm a little surprised how well the container dahlias have done. But since they're in full sun, they seem to thrive anyways. The ones that are in more shade up front by the driveway are definitely not as prolific. But I am getting some blooms, which is encouraging. So we'll see how it goes through the rest of September, even though we're starting to get colder temperatures. Now, let's look at the ones that I already have in some vases. Petite, petite little mini bouquets. And here's one that actually did come out of the front garden. And again, the ID tag flew away, but I believe this is either Einstein or a different purple one. These are also on their way out. But I might try and get some seeds from these. We'll see, that was one of my favorites on the patio, that deep red one. And then this was a checkers, which was really pretty. I'll put a picture up of it when it was in bloom. And then just some Black Eyed Susans. This also is the same one that bloomed out front, nice and pretty, and some China Asters. And then I also snapped a couple of that Amaranth off, which is definitely dying. But they were very fun. So let's switch those out. Okay, so I'm gonna take these dahlias and these other flowers out, but set the dahlias to the side because I wanna try and collect the seed, which I've never done before. So if you have any excellent comments for that, please comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear your tried and true tricks. When you're doing dahlias from seed, I do know that if you plant a dahlia seed, you will not necessarily get the same flower that you got the seed from. If you're doing it from a tuber, the actual tuber that grew the flower, then it should be an exact repula. But I, kn I know that the seed is different. So I'm curious to see how that works next year. Okay, so I've got fresh water in these vases. Aren't they the best? I got these from Anthropology, and they're like old milk cartons on sale, by the way. Great find. So dahlias are here. I'm gonna collect that seed later, and then let's go get some new ones for this fresh water. Okay, so now we're outside. I'm gonna cut some of these. Usually you would pick these when they're more closed. If they're open, I'm gonna pick them anyways just to have a, a fun few days with them. So let's get started. Just taking any leaves off, if there are any on there. Yeah, buddy, you wanna come cut some flowers? All right, you wanna go cut some more, bud? Uh, uh, gentle, no, no, gentle, no, 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 gentle, no, 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 gentle, 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 careful, gentle, careful, careful, gentle. Remember, gentle, gentle, yeah, gentle with the flowers, gentle, and I, 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 gentle, gentle, gentle. No, no crush, no crush. Gentle, yeah. You want to smell it? Mmm. Yeah, so beautiful. Does it smell nice? It actually doesn't have that much of a smell, but it's still pretty. Okay, gentle. Remember, no, no, gentle. Thank you. Thank you. Aye, aye, gentle. And then we leave it. We're going to give these to Grammy later, okay? All right. Let's go grab some others. Are you coming into the garden to help me? It's a big tree, you're right. Okay, let's grab this guy. You wanna help me? Clip? All right, awesome. And now we can sit it down in here. No, no, gentle, gentle. I'm gonna sit it right down in here with these. Oh, gentle. This is why it's very difficult to film sometimes. Okay, let's go to the backyard. Okay, we're gonna get this one out here. Buds on that, so I'm gonna cut right here. Gorgeous deep red color. Let's put that in with this bunch. No, come here. No, 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 no. There's too many bees in there right now. Here, come help me. Let's open this one or cut this one. 
You smell it? Smell it? Oh, no eating. No eating. Just smelling. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick this beautiful black pearl Lizzie. So pretty. If you look closely with the flip flop, it's got a purplish center to it. So I think that Roseanne Black Pearl Lizianthus just really bounces off of the flip flop so nicely. What's wrong? Look at that beautiful combo. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Nice. No, no, no. That's not gentle. That's not gentle. Gentle, baby. Gentle. Flower. Yeah, flower. Gentle, yes. Thank you, buddy. Okay, I just want to finish these two off with some from the patio. So we're going to pick what I think. Shadow cat. Again, pulling the leaves off. Before we put them in the bay. You okay, buddy? These are all spent, so I'm going to take these off. Set them on the table. You're getting all wet. Typical. Yeah, that is funny, huh? And then this big beauty over here. This one has a bloom coming in. That will be gorgeous. You okay? Okay. We can fit it in there. Okay, so that's it for today. A quick little harvest, but I love it. I love the petite bases and the mishmash of colors. I'm really proud of these dahlias that some grew up front in the most sun area in the actual ground pretty well, like these flip flops. And then my patio containers are doing well too. So a good harvest for today. Please comment below and let me know how your dahlias are doing, especially if you're in a shaded woodland area. And send me some pictures. Let me know how your harvests are looking as well. See you in the next one. Bye.